Lorna. Hi, Abby. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. I hope everybody is feeling well and happy and safe as we can be at this very difficult time. So I am here back on my farm. I thought I'd be all festive. So I'm sitting by my Christmas tree, got my sparkly jumper on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all about positive vibes only okay it's just let's just share the love there's some last minute Christmas shopping that can be done I think this is the last day isn't it if you're watching me live on the Monday um, maybe a couple of other people are doing sort of next day special delivery but I know the poor posties have been totally overworked so I thought what I'd do is just really look at some things that we can do at home simple things a couple of quick reminders if there are any last minute bits and pieces hi there Jane hi Val hi Karen hi Victoria very very nice to have your company. Hello, hi Emma, nice to have you there. Now I'm sorry, uh, it looks as though Instagram is a little bit glitchy. Um, so I'm wondering, I've got a house full of teenagers, of course. So Lainey, I think you are manning Facebook for me, aren't you? Hi there, so thank you for putting up all the links on Facebook. Um, maybe you could just message my lot, just to say, please, could they just come offline just for a little bit, to make sure that nobody's uploading or downloading or doing any of that, and then hopefully we'll all be set. Thank you very much, you like this. So this is a golden oldie. This has just been in my cupboard for years, and it comes out every Christmas. Uh, I think it's a jigsaw one. Yeah, it's just a bit of sparkle. And I've got my um, rose jewellery. I know lots of you have been snapping these up. I think this is our last posting date, actually, if you want the Wild Rose collection. I've got my necklace on here and my little ear studs. They are all 25% off. And they do go, actually, next day, special delivery. So probably today or tomorrow would be the last time. You don't need a code. Just go to lizardjewellery.com and you will find them. So what have I been doing? Well, I have, over the weekend, I made some mince meat because I realised that I didn't actually have any mince pies. So um, I have made, I'm going to be making this later, actually making the pastry to put into the pies, but this is my mince meat here. So this has been in my um, pantry for a couple of days now. I think I made it on Saturday. And I did, I have to say, I um, I did a little bit of extra brandy in there and also just a little bit of cold tea because, you, you know, if you want to make it for a, a couple of days and let the, the fruit soak, the dried fruit will soak up the extra liquid. So there we go. So that's, I make mine, I use a bit of chopped apple and just the normal dried fruits, currants, sultanas, raisins. I've got some chopped up almonds in there with flaked almonds as well. Lots of mixed spices. I put in a little bit of extra cinnamon because that's just the way I like it. Um, and I use beef suet in there, so it's a lactose-free version. You can also make it without the suet if you want to, um, but I just make mine in the traditional way. And a little bit of um, mixed peel as well, dried peel. And all of these things, actually, you will find, I've got it here, this is my e-guide. And of course, the great thing about e-guides is they're not reliant on the post, are they? No, we can just get them anytime. So anytime that you feel over the festive season that you need details on how to cook your turkey, how to make the best stuffings, how to make mulled wine, all of those things, and the Christmas decorations that I'm going to show you, um, anyway, it's all in there. I printed mine out, but that's what it looks like. It's online. It's called A Happy Healthy Christmas. So one of the things that I've got in here as well are making different decorations out of natural things that you just might happen to have to hand. And I'm going to be doing a bit of last minute Christmas wrapping on Wednesday when I'm back with you live then. So sort of last minute ideas, really. And I think... Um, I've got some, oh these are really pretty, these are little kind of balls of foliage, so making Christmas balls for example out of, these are rosemary, rosemary balls work really well. Um, but you'll also find these online, so if you go to lizardwellbeing.com you will find these and I have had these drying in the bottom of my oven, so don't worry I haven't forgotten them, they're not burnt. Um, I've had these drying on the lowest setting, so right at the bottom of the oven, just on the lowest possible setting and it's a bit like if you were making meringues where you just want the egg whites to dry out. So this is similar, you make slices of orange and then you dry them out and then what we're going to do is we're going to string them onto uh, nice bits of red ribbon or you know leftover um, wrapping ribbon or just regular string if you want and you can make garlands and they smell 
really sort of orangey and you can put drops of essential oil on them if you want so you just get that lovely festive aroma so you might want to make a blend with orange and you could add some rosemary maybe some frankincense you know those lovely sort of evocative Christmas scents and you can use little bits of lemon as well and then what I also do sometimes is just uh, dip the edges in glitter so lots you can do to make really simple easy Christmas decorations you can make individual ones that you hang on the tree I normally have some hanging up there so I will find some of those and I'll show you a little bit more on um, Wednesday one other decoration I make actually I'll just show you this I'll just go and grab it from my tree and these are decorations I've had these in my Christmas decoration box I mean I can remember making these as a little girl with my mum so what's that like 50 years or something so these are you get whole walnuts and then very carefully you crack them open so you want to have the two halves uh, and then obviously you can eat the nut you can take that out and, and use that and then what you do is you glue around the edges and you glue a bit of thread in there when you glue them back together so you make them back whole again and then you spray them so you spray them gold and silver and then if you want to you can just dip the end in a bit of glitter and, you know, they last forever. I don't know about you, but I've been putting my um, Christmas baubles on the tree and so many of them break. You know, they're so fragile, aren't they? Those really, really fine glass ones where these, I promise you, oh, thank you for all the hearts. <laughs> um, you know, I, they just go on and on and they're completely sustainable. Um, and you've actually get the benefit of eating the nut at the same time. So anyway, I love my little walnuts. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, other things to share, lots of Christmas messages that have come in. Uh, let me give you some last orders here. So Life Armour, lots of you have been snapping up those bundles of Life Armour. I did at the weekend actually, I went online and I ordered, um, I ordered three lots of the Slumber Drops and the Balance Drops, because those are the two in particular I find really good. I like all their products, but those are the two in particular. Always have the Slumber Drops beside my bed have the balance drops on the go oh my goodness especially at the moment oh gosh it's hard to stay balanced isn't it so I think we just need all the armory that we can get that's such a great term isn't it life armor that's what we need life armor just to kind of keep us going through all of this so anyway I think today is the last day um, if you want to get it for Christmas I think the uh, the discount code still carries on so you can still use Liz loves all in capitals that gets you an extra 10% off their bundle prices and I tried it at the weekend and it worked for me so I've, I've bought mine and mine is coming um, and they have said that they are doing free track 24-hour delivery if you want to get the bundle so that's a really nice gesture thank you very much life armor so those are going to be made um, not made those are going to be <laughs> used well used by me um, the other couple of things that we've got last call for also is better you and I know this is a really popular supplement brand and more than supplements actually because you can use them they've got their sprays their vitamin sprays they do a spray a vitamin b12 which is really unusual they do the obviously they do the vitamin d sprays and they do other things I've been trying these out which I really like this is the magnesium lotion so this is a mix of shea butter which is one of the natural butters it comes from a pod actually the shea nut doesn't look dissimilar to a walnut to be honest um, I went to see the shea nut pickers in southern Sudan a few years ago and you know they do they collect all these pods in the sunshine and then they crack them open and they get the shea butter from there lots of natural source vitamin E in shea butter it's a really nice ingredient to use actually on the skin and for better you they've combined it with magnesium because there are some studies and they are limited but there are studies that show that you can absorb some magnesium through the skin which is why things like Epsom salt baths work really well and they do bags of Epsom salts to, um, scented with different things there's a lovely one actually that's scented with frankincense which I really like so I've been using these and I really like them because I just think you know if you're using a body cream or a body lotion you may as well use one that's got an added benefit don't you think so you know if it's going to give you added magnesium and they even do one with calcium in it this is the one that I particularly like as well it's a body butter and it's got magnesium in it and yeah 15% uh, magnesium oil with shea butter and cocoa butter and coconut oil and vitamin E and it is a really nice texture I'll show you here 
So I don't know whether you can see that. It smells very slightly coconutty, but not too much. I'm not a massive fan on the coconut scent, but it just has a really, really good texture. And you've got no mineral oil in there, so it sinks really quickly into the upper levels of the skin. Lovely, really, really nice. So anyway, all the whole range from Better You is 15% off at the moment with Liz Loves. But I think that is a limited offer. Let me just check and see if I've got that in my notes to see how long that lasts for. No, that's that's okay. You're all right to use that. That's good. So I'm going to be stocking up again. So Liz Loves, all in capitals, gets you 15% everything on Better You. And for me, I have been back onto their website and I've bought the sprays. I really like the vitamin sprays. I'm giving my youngest, who's just 10 and, and kind of not very good with capsules and, and taking tablets. So I've got him the B12 spray, which I find is really helpful. Actually, talking of youngsters, this is something that also I really like. And they've got a sleep lotion. Let's face it, as anybody knows, getting the young ones to sleep, especially at Christmas time, uh, anything that can help with that. And it says it aids restful sleep and it's a lotion it's paediatrician approved and it's magnesium sleep for kids. Isn't that interesting? It's development with a healthy night's sleep, expertly blended with lavender and chamomile. So two of those essential oils that we know help to switch off the brain, help to calm. And this also has the magnesium in it. So you can use this before bedtime. Let's have a little smell of this. Oh yeah, really nice. I can smell the combination of the lavender and the chamomile. It's just very gentle gentle scent. It's not too flowery. It's not too girly. I could definitely use this on my boy. No problem. Great. So, and then the other two things that I have, obviously, that I've talked about here, th these were the Life Armour. So I've got the um, Balance Drops and I've got the Slumber Drops. So, you know, these are the things that I use at night because, I don't know, I guess like everybody at the moment, sleep is a precious commodity. We really need it. We need to prioritise it. It's a valuable part of our immune system. Victoria says there, kick the kids off, Liz. I hope it's working all right. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's glitching. They have. <laughs> Somebody's saying they're cooking lots of red cabbage. Yeah, I'm cooking red cabbage too. Turkey and red cabbage. I just think red cabbage is the most delicious vegetable. Who agrees with me? Yeah, let's hear it for red cabbage. So what I do with mine is I chop it up quite finely. Don't boil it to death. You just need to cook it in a little bit of water. And then I throw in some raisins and then at the very end, I just put in a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar and that just sort of brings out the depth of the flavour of the red cabbage. And we know that we should be eating the rainbow. We know that the more brightly coloured our uh, fruits and vegetables are, particularly things that are red and purple. And if you've been looking at my Instagram stories at all, you'll see that one of my new favourite juices at the moment is a mixture of pomegranate and beetroot. Really interesting combination, it tastes really good. It's a great one for the guys because it's been linked to help for prostate issues and urinary flow issues. So, you know, as we age, guys as well as girls, you know, it can be really good and it just tastes great. And I think it looks really festive. I'm gonna be making a bit of mulled wine later on, actually, I'm gonna make a video to pop up on YouTube back in my kitchen and uh, hopefully no more kitchen disasters, but I can't promise, we'll see. Uh, but it just it looks great in a glass you know if you want something that's non-alcoholic and it just looks festive you could garnish it with a little bit of orange peel for example and you know add in a few spices if you want to just to kind of mull it you could have a mulled juice rather than a mulled wine I'm talking actually of urinary tract infections <laughs> quick segue you notice how I do that it's kind of like it's light and shade isn't it all of this I love this we kind of dart about all over the place you've got to really pay attention this is the last day to grab the OptiBac probiotics and this had an amazing number of views on YouTube because I talked, it was over a week ago now, I talked about recurrent UTIs, cystitis, vaginal atrophy, all of those really, really common things, especially for midlife women and beyond. And one of the things that I've personally found really helpful 
uh, for things like UTIs over the years is this Optibac supplement. It's a purple pack. They do lots of different ones, but this is the purple one and it says on it for women and it's got two specific varieties of probiotics. One is called Lactobacillus ruteri and the other one is Lactobacillus rhamnosus. And those are the two strains, the ruteri and the rhamnosus, that have been especially shown to be helpful for the pelvic area. And, you know, I always keep these in my cupboard. And so I was really pleased when my team reached out to Optibac and they said, oh, Liz is going to be talking about these. <laughs> Any chance that we might have a bit of a discount? And they have given us a 20% discount, but it ends at midnight tonight. So if you're watching now or you're watching in real time on Monday up until midnight, you've got till like 1159 I've been on their website and I've stocked up because this is something that I find genuinely beneficial. They're not paying me to say this. I throw this out there as a gift to you because it really does help. Um, and if we can get it at a discount price, then so much the better. So you need to use Liz Loves on the Optibac website, all in capitals, and it's only for this version, okay? So it's only if you want the supplement that is for women. So, but that offer ends tonight. So I hope that you are able to stock up as I have done. Now, something else I talked about, I think it was Friday, when we had a little bit of an indulgent feeling on Friday. So we were talking about things like sustainable caviar, and gold and just you know kind of a bit more lavish uh, we're a little bit more down to earth today with our dried orange slices and homemade decorations but you know that's it isn't it you've always got to have the ups and the downs but one of the things that i mentioned was the hyaluronic acid with gold from cell return now cell return as in c-e-double-l -L, so as in skin cell many of you will know, is the new venture that my lovely eldest daughter, Lily, has started. And she started it really with these amazing masks. And I know many of you have bought them. And I know many salon owners have bought them as well because they are pricey, but they are phenomenal. And I'm going to be talking more about the whole technology behind LED light and near infrared light and the different types of light, the red light, the pink light, the blue light. We're going to be doing a lot more into this in the new year because it's so fascinating. And I think these are kind of little biohacks that we can take on in so many different ways. You know, we know that light affects mood and emotion. It connects to the limbic system, the pituitary gland in the brain, um, which is why we shouldn't be using our screens late at night because they emit blue light. And it's the blue light that wakes us up. So that's the light that we need to be having kind of first thing in the morning to get us out of bed. Whereas the red light is the one that calms us down. And, you know, I've got Lily's mask and I use it at night, every night now without fail on the red light setting. Anyway, one of the things that she has also got on the website there, which is cellreturnuk.com, is this hyaluronic acid. Now, hyaluronic acid is something that you've probably heard a bit about in the skincare world. It sounds quite aggressive, but it's not. It's super gentle. It's actually um, a really moisturizing ingredient and the body produces it. So teenagers have lots of it, which is partly why their skin looks so great. And we lose it as we age. And this is the extraordinary hyaluronic acid that's got little gold particles in it. And she gave me a bottle and I thought, well, that's, that's all very nice, but you know, it's a bit fancy. Why would you put gold into a skin serum? I thought to myself, didn't say that to her. I just said, well, thank you very much. That's very nice. Cause it's quite pricey. It's about a hundred pounds. Although she has given us a 10% Liz Loves. But the serum itself is really nice. It's hyaluronic acid and you can find hyaluronic acid in lots of skincare ranges. It's a very good ingredient. And it's also got niacinamide, which is an ingredient that's used for brightening the skin. So it's all about kind of brightening and glow and all the things that cell return talk about actually getting the glow back into the skin. But interestingly, I, when I talked about the gold particles and saying that there was some evidence that gold on the skin could help with skin regeneration, I had a really interesting comment on my Instagram left by a lady who'd been treated for skin cancer and scarring and saying that she was actually given gold, a treatment, a gold treatment on the skin to use by her consultant to help with wound healing. I thought that's very interesting. You know, I love these two-way conversations. Always leave me comments because, you know, if you want me to look at anything or investigate it, I love all these little leads and, and being able to research and get new information. So I went online 
and I looked up um, to see what evidence there was to see about gold helping wound healing and sure enough there is a study that came out, I think it was in 2012, and it's on the PubMed website, so it's a proper medical um, evidence-based study. And it shows that uh, nanoparticles, so little tiny particles of gold, a little bit like the ones you've got here, the little suspended particles in the serum, have been shown to help literally kind of rebuild and rejuvenate the skin and, and reduce scarring and help with wound healing. Isn't that interesting? So fascinating. And I think there's just so much more that we're discovering about skin all the time. We know that honey, for example, uh, is being used for wound healing. And again, you can look that up online. There's lots of studies looking at honey and it's naturally antibacterial effect. So there you go. So thank you so much for your comment. It was really interesting. And it's made me actually take a, a little bit more of a closer look at this serum rather than thinking oh maybe it's just a bit gimmicky you know just adding gold in but it actually it's in there for a reason and I have to say uh, the cell return mask and the ampules and all of this sort of thing the serums they all come from South Korea and if you know if you talk to any beauty aficionado and certainly if you talk to Ellie Smith who's my senior beauty writer at the magazine South Korea the Korean skincare they are like light years ahead of, of us they are they are so into their skin and their skin ingredients and getting the skin glowing and they are their technology and their research is is really interesting and I just love the way that a lot of these are using natural materials as well you know gold is obviously a natural mineral and I mean I use it in my my jewelry range I use fair trade gold obviously for my jewelry I'd, so I'd be interested to hear where, where this gold comes from um, and things like light, you know, light, which again is, is just a natural resource. It's not invasive. It's just something that is you use topically on the skin that actually has a real effect. So absolutely fascinating. Anyway, I spoke to Lil this morning. They do have a few of these. So if you were interested, I know they are sending out next day delivery because they are still sending out the masks. Um, and you do get your discount with Liz Loves. So I just mentioned that as I picked up somebody, uh, somebody's comment. Something else I'm going to be doing a little bit later on today on the subject of gold is I was sent these to have a look at um, by Sally Hansen, which is a very famous nail varnish brand. And you can see this glittery stuff. Doesn't that look fun? And I always find that glitter nail varnish lasts just so much longer. And, you know, I'm, I'm not actually terribly good with nail varnish. You can see this one actually is just beginning to um, chip off a little bit. I think it's because I've always got my hands in water. I mean, especially now we're washing our hands, aren't we, so often. Um, but I always seem to be like washing up or, you know, doing chores. And, and my nails just, I keep my nails quite short, actually, because they, I, can't, I can't keep them long because I'm just too active with my hands all the time. Um, but I do find that the glittery nail varnishes stay put. So thank you very much, Sally Hansen, for these. I just thought that looked quite fun. I'm going to be trying that one over the festive season. So I'll, I'll pop it on my Instagram. And the other one is this one, which I think actually, actually, I know who would love this. Look at this. This is the, the blue glittery. Guess who would love this? And would it match her hat? Yes. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, if you're watching me on Facebook or YouTube, but there's been this kind of running gag with my younger daughter, Brella, who literally, since she's come home from uni, she's been in this really cute little blue beanie type hat. It's not a beanie because it's not knitted. It's just like a little cloche hat. Do you know how they used to wear those little cloches in the 1920s? If you see pictures of those flappers and, and they had, you know, short bobbed hair and they wore a little hat and it comes down to kind of like here, almost hides her eyes. Anyway... This girl, I'm, I really wouldn't be surprised if she's not sleeping in it because morning, noon and night she is wearing her hat. And I posted a picture of us. Uh, we all went out for a walk um, yesterday as a family and my eldest son who was with us, he was just walking behind us and he took a picture. Um, and it's just a lovely picture. We're all kind of just walking arm in arm. And anyway, she's right there in the middle wearing her little blue hat, of course. Anyway, this might have to give her that or maybe Father Christmas might have to put that in her stocking and then she can post a picture of her matching nails and hat maybe. Anyway I'm hoping that this will last and stay put so um, I will try that and see see what happens. So let me have a look at some of your questions. Um, okay this is from Jeanette on Facebook. Hi Jeanette and you say um, 
Can you please recommend a bar soap that does not dry out the skin? I've tried so many over the years. I'd really appreciate your expert knowledge on any that you may have used. Yes, actually, um, I came across a really nice beauty brand. It's actually an accessories brand called Donna May. And I've mentioned her before. She's actually the head makeup artist at ITV Studios for Loose Women. And she's got a brilliant website. I think it's Donna May London. And we did have a Liz Loves code. I don't know whether that's still working. It may, it may have expired. You can certainly try it. Um, but she, as part of that range, she's mostly accessories. So it's lovely things like makeup brushes and makeup bags, which I really like. But as part of it, she also imports these natural soaps. I think they might be olive oil based. I think they're from Turkey. Anyway, she sent me one and I love it. I absolutely love it. So check, check that out. Donna May London. Uh, and apologies if the discount code has run out, but they're not expensive, so um, I think you might like those. Uh, Victoria on Instagram, you like my sparkly cardigan. Did I mention where it's from? Yeah, it's an old one, I'm afraid. I was just saying to my friends here, it comes out every year. I've probably had it for about at least 15 years. So my, my lovely friend, Livia Firth, who's into sustainable clothing and never throwing anything away and keeping it going. Well, this Livia, darling, this is something that comes out year after year. Uh, so it's from Jigsaw. It was an originally um, one from Jigsaw. But do you know what I found is if I really like something and it's disappeared because it's gone out of production or whatever, I just put a search on eBay. So, you know, you can set up a search and it just means that whenever anybody posts an item like that, then you just get a notification. Um, so if you put in, you know, Jigsaw gold sparkly cardigan, into a search you might you may well find that somebody's had one that they're passing on so uh so uh val can you use this without the mask yes absolutely talking about the serum yeah yeah totally you could just use this as a nice face serum i mean it's you know it's indulgent you know it's an indulgent treat i'm not gonna lie but i really you know i think if you're going to spend money on something that you want to work then you want to have one that's going to work and I think this serum is very high in the hyaluronic acid. It's a very good quality. It's got the niacinamide and other very good plant-based ingredients. And it's got those genuine gold particles. So, yeah, I mean, if, you know, if that's your bag, then definitely you can use it without the mask um, or use it after the mask or with it. Um, so, oh, lots of lovely comments. Uh, oh, this is nice. This is from Duck Lane Designs on Instagram. And you say, I've just ordered the supplement from Optibac for my 83-year-old mum. Hoping this will help as she's constantly suffered with UTIs for years. What else could I suggest to help her, do you think? Okay, so it's just so tragic. So many women do suffer in silence and they're either too embarrassed or... You know, they don't want to bother their GP and, it, you know, we should not suffer in silence. You know, a recurrent UTI is not normal and it's not healthy and it's a sign very often that the pH balance in the vagina or around the urethra is not correct. And that can be linked to lowered levels of oestrogen. Yeah, I know, back to the same old story, I'm afraid. As we age, lower levels of oestrogen cause bladder infections or UTIs um, or cystitis and you know you often don't think of that you just think oh well maybe that's just you know an overgrowth of E. coli or, or whatever and that can certainly be impacting it but you know one of the the key reasons for pelvic issues is our lowering levels of estrogen as we age normally that would happen from our sort of early to mid 40s onwards and that's when you can see signs of change you might notice that you're having more cystitis issues. You might notice, you know, a change in odor. You might notice just, just various subtle changes that are kind of an indication that estrogen levels in that area are dropping because we have lots of estrogen receptors all over the body and lots internally as well in the pelvic region. So your mum, if she is suffering, the key things that I would say is she needs to talk to her GP and she can ask for localized vaginal estrogen. It's completely safe. You know, even those who are having uh, breast cancer treatment can have it because it stays locally within the uh, within the vagina. It doesn't migrate. It's not systemic, like you know, taking a patch or a pill. And it can really significantly help. There are a couple of really good people to follow online. If you're on Instagram, which you obviously are, um, do please follow. There's Jane who has written. Uh, I think it's the Pelvic Floor Bible. And then there's the very graphic account, uh, which is My Menopausal Vagina. 
So, it, you know, really worth uh, following her. And also there's another one, there's another account, um, which is, I think, Volvo Cancer. So again, a lot of these uh, women are posting really helpful bits of information. So localized estrogen can be used at any age and can really significantly help. I recorded a YouTube video about it. So if you want to watch the YouTube video, perhaps before talking to your GP, please do. It's, it's, it's up there online. It's right out there. It says, you know, all about UTIs and vaginal atrophy. So take a look. Uh, so that's one thing you can do. So that's the kind of the medicinal thing. If you're suffering a lot with cystitis, then I suggest, for, for me, what I do is I take a high strength garlic supplement because garlic has been shown to be really antibacterial. It's, it's been shown to help with E. coli infections, for example. Don't bother with cranberry juice. The studies are not there. Uh, and in fact, in some studies, it shows it can make it worse because of all the sugar. And you don't want that to feed the proliferation of the, of the bad bugs. So uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry with cranberry juice, but I would uh, take this. So I'd use my Ramnosus and Ruteri probiotic. I would take high strength garlic capsules, which is just a food supplement, so it's perfectly safe. It's not gonna interfere with any other kind of medication. Um, and also the other kind of magic ingredient that is really helpful for so many women with cystitis or UTIs is D-mannose. Okay, D-mannose, and you can find it online. There are lots of different brands. And D-mannose is a sugar, it comes from the birch tree. And you can find it as a pill, you can take it in powder, doesn't really taste of anything. Um, and of course, drinking lots and lots of water is really helpful just to keep the bacteria, the bad bacteria, just flush it through. So I hope that is helpful. I have been meaning actually to write a website article about it and put it online, but I've just been so crazy busy with so many things that I haven't actually got around to it yet, but I will do. But do check out that YouTube video um, because all the information is there. And this is from Rianne on Facebook. Hi, Rianne. You say, how do you stay so chilled and calm? You're a joy to watch. You relax me. Oh, well, thank you. I hope you're feeling relaxed. How do I stay calm? I, I mean, I am, I think I'm naturally a, a relatively calm person. Um, and, you know, calm in a crisis, I would, I would hope. And, you know, I say to my kids, maybe it's because I've got five kids. And, you know, I think, you know, my eldest is now nearly 30. So, you, you know, you, you do kind of see it not all but you know I've been through a lot of different issues with all of them have had different struggles some ongoing as you know um, and you know I always think look you know if if there's no blood and nothing's broken then it's okay <laughs> that's number one and if it's mostly right most of the time then I think that's pretty good you know it's not about being super perfect all the time you know those days are long gone when I tried to get you know everything absolutely spot on and I think you just set yourself up for disappointment and failure if, if you can't accept that actually, do you know what? Sometimes mistakes happen, we get stuff wrong, it, you just pick yourself up, you move on, you learn. And I always admire actually the Americans in business because if you talk to them about when they've had a failure in business, and I've, you know, I've had lots of been part of lots of discussion groups and panels and things talking about business and entrepreneurship and business mentoring and that kind of thing. And the Americans always seem to be very positive. They, they don't seem to say, oh, well, I had this and it went wrong or it failed. They said, well, you know, this was a learning. You know, I did this and, and then, you know, I learned from it that actually I needed to be doing that. And you go, that's such a positive way, isn't it, to, to look at it because, you know, things do go wrong all the time. And we learn and it's how we react to that and, and the, the lessons that we take on board and how we then go forward. And there's, there is just no point in, in looking back and regret. You know, I think you just have to be quite forward looking um, and hopefully, you know, accept the challenges and, and just, just, yeah, just keep calm and carry on, you know, breathe. <sighs> because it will all be okay. That's what they say, isn't it? It will all be okay in the end. And if it isn't okay, then it isn't the end. So that's kind of, I hold that thought. Uh, so, oh, I'm not quite sure who's left this comment, but it, you say the LED mask, it's like a little cocooning me time. I've seen some glow already. Great, I wonder who has written that. I wonder who's got their mask. That's lovely to hear. Yeah, I, I do think that, um, that it is good. I really genuinely do think it's good. And I guess as... 
you know, as everyone gets locked down again and, you know, visits to beauty salons and facials and all of that, you know, become ever more rare and few and far between and uncertain. You know, having something that's kind of salon grade that you can do at home can be very helpful. Oh, this is nice. This is from Zoe on Instagram. She said, just made the ginger energy energy balls this morning and curing the salmon from yearbook two. Brilliant. Yeah, I actually tried to order some salmon from my local fishmonger and he wasn't sure that he was going to be able to get his regular supplies of fish in because of the blockades at the moment and the, the fishing fleet have also got a double whammy because not only have they had difficulties getting some of um, the things through the ports, but also the weather apparently has been really bad. I don't know if any of you guys are involved with fishing families out there, but you know, big thanks to all our fishermen and women who are out there in such bad weather, landing amazing fresh food for us. And I think never more so do we need to be thankful for our farmers, our fishers, our growers, you know, we need to really s highlight and celebrate those who produce locally for us. You know, we're very lucky, I guess, being a maritime nation that we have got lots of coastal waters and can grow things like seaweed as well. Let's not forget our friends up in the Orkneys, uh, Dr. Seaweed and Co. You know, we love all that lovely sustainable seaweed that's so nutritious and so good for us and things like samphire. Do you love samphire? love samphire that kind of it just tastes of salty greenness really really nice so yeah well done on getting your salmon and curing that i wonder if you're going to have that on christmas eve maybe because it's like a that's the traditional thing isn't it to have christmas eve fish on christmas eve um this is a nice message from catchy monkey hi on instagram you say um lovely liz i wish you a wonderful christmas look forward to adventures with you in 2021 yeah i've got some got some good adventures planned so lovely to have you with me um you've been my guiding and shining star this past year the initial lockdown was a cloud with a silver lining as i discovered you and your wisdom on hrt and feel so well oh that's so great that is so great you know, I, I do hear this from so many people who say that, you know, because they've had a bit more time to perhaps engage with social media and to read up on things. And there is just so much good news out there on HRT. Unfortunately, the message is still not clear and it's not getting through loudly enough to so many women. Um, but certainly for those with anxiety issues, um, you know, listen to my podcast. OK, do listen to the podcast that I recorded a while ago now with Dr. Rebecca Lewis, um, Lainey, sweetheart, if you can find the link, could you pop it on Facebook? Uh, if you're watching me on Instagram, just go to the Lizard Wellbeing website. And if you just put in podcast, you can see there's a whole, all the podcasts will come up. We've got about 200 podcasts, so plenty to listen to. And you can search for the one with Dr. Rebecca Lewis. And we talk specifically about estrogen and anxiety. And it's really reassuring because one of the things that so many people are unaware of is all the estrogen receptors that we have in our brain. And when we start to lose estrogen, then these estrogen receptors become deprived of estrogen. And that's when we can get issues, particularly with anxiety. And of course, at the moment, you know, our state of anxiety is just so heightened, isn't it? And anything that we can do to help and, and to stay well is, is really important. Um, this is from uh, from Jane, also on Instagram. Really enjoyed it, Liz. So informative, extremely helpful. I bought all your recommendations. Oh, good. Well, I hope they are helpful. I mean, I do genuinely try and find useful, helpful things. You know, that there is a reason why the discount codes that we're able to set up with some of the brands is Liz Loves, because I do genuinely have to love it. You know, I, it, it, this is not an ad. This is something that I will find, I'll research it, I'll look at it, and, and if I genuinely love it, then it goes on to the Liz Loves program, if you like. And if you want to check them all out, they're all online. So they're all on lizardwellbeing.com. There's a whole section now called Liz Loves, and everything from supplements to fashion to, you know, you name it, it's, it's up there, and hopefully we'll do more and more um, in the new year as well. Just to say, because this is um, Christmas, we do have a gift going with the, this is the Lizard Wellbeing magazine, so it's not too late to get this. We can either send it uh, to you or as a gift subscription. And as an extra present, there is a gift with purchase, if you like, which is from our lovely friends at 
Isla Spa. Look at that, another little pot of gold. And this is the lovely Skin Balm. I love this. I use this on my fingers, particularly at night. And this is, I think it's retails for about £10. Anyway, that comes as an extra bonus. So if you want to have a subscription to the magazine, and if you're looking for a last minute present, for example, you don't have to worry, rely on the post because obviously they get an email notification. Um, and you can head online. So just go to Liz Our Wellbeing and you'll see where it says buy the magazine. And at the moment, we've got the last few of these little gifts remaining. So I think you get, I think it's six issues for the price of five. So you get a free issue and you get free postage and packing in the UK. Um, and you get your free balm. Now the balms are sent separately. Uh, so the magazine comes from our magazine um, distributor, our, um, the people who you know send out magazines from the printers, called Warners, really lovely people at Warners. Thank you, Warners, for looking after everybody so well. Unlike the other company, who should remain nameless, who did not look after my customers well. So we fired them, and we're now with Warners, who are very much better. Uh, so the, the little gift balms go out in the new year separately, okay, so don't, don't expect it to come with the magazine, it will come separately. Big apologies um, if you are, oh who is this reading my magazine on the beach in St Lucia? Anna, message, honestly, this is something to make us all spit, I'm about to read your magazine on the beach in St Lucia, you must send a picture! Anna, put a picture on your Instagram, okay, and tag me, and then I can screenshot it and I'll, I'll pop it up on my stories. And if anybody is overseas or anywhere interesting, unusual, or maybe not, just somewhere lovely and cosy, take a picture, take a picture, show me where you are reading the magazine, um, and I'll pop it on my stories. I'd love to do that, do a little gallery, you know, connect us all together to show everybody. Wouldn't that be fun? I just think there's so many of us all around the world, and I know my magazine gets sent. It does cost a bit more for postage, but you know we can send it anywhere in the world. It can go to Australia and New Zealand and Tasmania, and you know I've had copies go off to America and Mexico and Brazil and all over, literally all over. Lots of friends in Kenya, uh, and uh, I often take it to them um, because I do tend to go to Kenya because I've got all my charity projects there. So we'll have to wait and see whether. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping to get there in January because I've got all these lovely things planned. I want to be able to do um, just so much out there. And there's we've got humanitarian projects going, we've got conservation projects. And I just want to share it all with you because it just, you know, it would just be so nice during January, which is so grey and miserable. It would just be so nice to be able to get there. By the way, I don't know if you saw on my stories, uh, actually I, I put a picture on my main Instagram grid of some lions and these are they are wild lions in my garden okay well when I say garden it's it's part of a big game conservancy so my family have got a home there along with lots of other people and it's just open and the the game the wildlife is truly wild it's it's not contained and they come and they go and you, you know, you're never quite sure you know what you're going to find in the morning so whenever my neighbors will send me a picture saying you know oh this is what's going on in your kenyan home at the moment and we've had elephants and we've had leopard and zebras and all sorts anyway a couple of days ago i got this picture um, and it was two lions, two big male lions, and they're probably young males because the, the big, kind of the big daddy lions are, you know, really big, and you can tell their big shaggy manes all around their heads are, are you know, are quite grey and quite big, whereas these are probably, I don't know, in, in kind of human years, they'd be the equivalent of being students, maybe. <laughs> anyway, these two boy lions are hanging out, are kind of in the garden. And then uh, the next picture I got was there was another one, the third one that, that joined them and they're just kind of like lying out there. And I just did this funny little post. It's like, you know, oh, look, the cats are back in the garden again, you know, but you do have to be careful, obviously, because it's, you know, it is, it is wildlife and, and they're not tame at all. But, you know, they, you know, you do have to be very careful and look where you go and, um, yeah, and just be very mindful that it is their environment. You are a guest or a visitor in their environment and they are living there, hanging out naturally um, in the wild. And it's, it's difficult. The spaces for lion are actually shrinking. And, you know, you tend not to think about lion being endangered, but they really are because you know, a lot of the land is being developed or cultivated. And, you know, quite rightly in many places where you've got rural communities you know, they don't want the lion 
because you know lion are dangerous and and so you know the lions get killed and they are depleting in numbers hugely so finding these these safe big open spaces for them is is quite a challenge as it is with elephant for example elephant needs such huge spaces there's this great charity uh, that my neighbor actually runs called space for giants it's a really well named charity because elephants need huge amounts of space you know elephants can easily travel 30 miles you know you tend to think of elephants as these kind of slow plodding creatures but they they can really move and they've got a lot of stamina which is why it's so sad when you see them in zoos you know because they're so contained it'd be like living in a little box you know these animals they just need the freedom and the other uh, instagram which i put up there which was extraordinary do have a look at those pictures if you haven't seen them was the giraffe that got stuck in the swamp. Did you see that, a young giraffe? So uh, I think it looked like a young male, but I'm not entirely sure. You know how long legs the giraffe are? I mean, like massively long. Anyway, he or she was stuck basically up to here and, and couldn't move. It obviously just kind of wandered into the swamp. They're quite heavy creatures, had just literally sunk down in and couldn't move, was just like stuck and would either have starved to death or maybe the lion would have come along and, you know, finished him off. So the guys, the local guys came with Kenya Wildlife Service and they pulled it out. They put big ropes around the hindquarters of the giraffe. It must have been quite panicked. They probably, I don't know whether they darted the giraffe, maybe as with a tranquilizer, I don't know. Anyway, there's this extraordinary little video I think I counted 18 guys, big, strong, strapping guys, like a tug of war, just pulling and pulling and pulling. And it must have been an amazing, amazing sight. And they did. They managed to free this giraffe. And then the next shot is of this giraffe with mud all over its legs, just kind of wandering off into the bush. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So extraordinary stories so it's um you know it's things like that that i would love to be able to share with everybody uh if if i get over there so anyway watch this space we shall see uh but yeah anna good luck to you on your beach in st lucia we are not at all jealous and yes lots of vitamin d says val i'm sure you're getting lots of vitamin d uh jenny how much vitamin d is safe to take sorry if you've mentioned this before yeah, we have got a whole thing, a whole feature online, actually, um, about vitamin D. Um, the government recommendations, I think, are a thousand international units. I'm just having a look, actually, at this one. This is the, the um, vitamin D spray from Better You. So if you want the sprays, don't forget, you get your discount on this. Uh, this, I think, tiny weeny writing, which I can't read. Um, this is giving you... Uh, this will give you 3,000 international units. So uh, that would be, I would say that would be quite a high dose for a day, but maybe not. Maybe that's about right. I'm going to be talking about doses of vitamins in the new year because, like many things, there's no simple answer. It depends how well you process and absorb vitamin D, to be honest. I think first things first, we all need a supplement. OK, even the government guidelines say, especially living in the UK, especially during the winter months, because we're not synthesizing it through our skin. So there's no question. Every single one of us should be taking vitamin D. And that includes children and the elderly, even more so if you're housebound um, and not getting out to see the sunshine. So I take about 3000 international units a day, which is a fairly standard dose. This one is 3000. This is the, the, the better you one. Um, my kids like this, too. Um, in fact, I haven't had mine today, so I'm going to uh, hmm, do a quick squirt. This one I like, it's the vitamin D, plus it's got K2, so vitamin K2. K2 is used for blood clotting and various other things, and it works synergistically with vitamin D, so it's a really good, if you're going to go for them, I, I would personally choose the one that has the K2 in it as well. Some people need more than others, and it can be quite hard to determine. Um, one of the things that vitamin D does, it's obviously very good for bone health. So it's very good for women, for midlife women, for helping with osteoporosis prevention and that kind of thing. It is also really important for our immune system, and that's why there's been lots of talk over the last few months, particularly about COVID. Um, those who have more uh, levels of vitamin D being better protected from the severity symptoms of, of COVID. 
and it's also very good for anxiety and for mood and one of the reasons is vitamin D is really important for creating serotonin and dopamine so these are the calming happy chemicals in the brain so again if you're somebody that's suffering from anxiety and low mood and you know borderline depression topping up your vitamin D levels can be really helpful and of course one of the ways to find out you know how much you need is is you start taking it and you see when you start to, to see a difference you know when you notice a change um, so yeah I mean check it out we've got more information online if you want to know more about vitamin D and there's also lots actually on the better you website I think that's um, that is but for me it's a no-brainer you know everybody every single member of my family gets given vitamin D you know end of story and then others get given certain other things as well um, depending on what they might need so I think that is just about it for me for today um, I hope that you will enjoy doing all sorts of festive things this week even if it's something simple just you know like making some botanical Christmas decorations I'm gonna be back here live on Wednesday Wednesday is going to be my last live this week, so I'm going to be doing just some last minute bits of wrapping and decorations and festivities. If you would like to send me anything, please do leave a comment. I don't do direct message, but I do do um, a reply to comments on my Instagram and also on Facebook and on YouTube. I've got a new YouTube video that's going to go live tomorrow on Tuesday. I'm also recording something special for Christmas. So I'm very sorry that we haven't been able to do our Christmas carol concert this year. Those of you who um, know my charity, Live Twice, will know that every year for the last, gosh, eight, nine years, we've had a Christmas carol concert. Obviously this year we couldn't, um, but my brother Adrian and I are doing something um, we're recording it and we're going to be editing it a little bit later today and tomorrow so watch out for that I hope you enjoy it but in the meantime thank you for all your good wishes thank you for your lovely comments thank you for your company and I look forward to being back with you very soon until then I hope you stay well stay safe stay happy and calm sending lots of love bye bye <laughs>